Let's all thank the wonderful patrons for supporting the channel! I can't show everything from the visual novel, so if you support me in Patreon, you will be able to watch everything from the old to the naughty. <laughs> also, don't forget to ring that bell when you subscribe so you'll be notified with future videos. Now, let's start the show! Is it a change? It's time for adventure. Remembering the days that I'll forever treasure. You were always by my side over the years I've gone. Even after our dreaming past, our stories only just begun. There will be a time or two that you be feeling blue and deep inside You'll be lonely too, but I'll be there, I promise you No matter what it takes, I know we'll make it through You and I will reach our dream, I promise that we hold Together we're the greatest team, stronger as we grow It's been much quieter this morning. How about... I got up earlier than yesterday just in case something happened again. Lloyd and Darius were gone from our cabin already, so I thought their work might have started for today. But I guess... Wait! Is this the start where... Is this the part where we're gonna meet Sir Goro on his bed and then Aiden in the kitchen? Lloyd and Darius were gone from our cabin already, so I thought their work might have started for today, but, but I guess not. The specialist probably won't arrive for a while too. Maybe I should go out for a morning patrol first. Boys, healthy boys, and look at the logo, healthy boys. <laughs> hold, hold it for five, hold it for five more seconds. <sighs> Great. Mm. Good morning, Lloyd and Darius. Good morning. I was wondering, what are you guys up to? <laughs> I'm sipping hot cocoa. Hey. Oh, hey, Yoshinori. I'm just doing my daily morning yoga. I I always make sure to do plenty of stretching, especially if there's gonna be a lot of physical labor during the day. Anyways? I hope you don't mind the incense though. It helps me relax and loosen up. <laughs> you use that during the time time too? It's alright. It's alright, it smells good actually. Stay fit! There's also a lot of studies that say yoga makes you happier, healthier, and more flexible. Actually. He's doing it to be taller. <laughs> Dar. Dar, I left that out for a reason, you know. Well, well, it's nice you're t taking good care of your health. I usually chop wood in the morning to make my muscle, to wake my muscles up. Yoshi, you should join me sometime. If you're stressed, I have cleansing crystals. Cleansing crystals? That could help too. You'll be feeling rejuvenated in no time. Sure. I'll let you know when I need it. So, do you always wake up this early too? Yes. During the summer term, yes. But this time, I just wanted to be available in case some anyone needs a, needs something. <laughs> You're quite the role model, as always. Believe it or not, you're one of the people I look up to when it comes to leadership. Really? Really? Yeah! You always had a way of getting everyone to work together while making sure they were having fun too. If only you knew how much of that I was able to apply in my job as an, as an architect. I understand. I can imagine. You must be used to working with a lot of people to get a project, project done. Yeah! In a sense, it's like you, your job as a scoutmaster. And now you're kind of dealing with something even more than that. Having to oversee not only my team, but the other inco incoming specialists too. How about... Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you too, but... 
There's a guy who's been walking around the entrance for a while now. What? What? Who could that be? <laughs> ah! It's him! <laughs> it's him! The boy! The Our little gay twinkie! <laughs> <sighs> oh no, where is no. it? Oh no, where is everybody? Huh? He's not... Oh, he's not your staff, is he? N no. No, I don't recognize him at all. Hmm. I think he's lost. Excuse me. Let, let, let me go. Let me go and talk to him. Good morning. Morning. I'm Yoshinori. Yoshinori Nagera, a scoutmaster here at camp, buddy. How can I help you? <gasps> oh, thank goodness! Oh, I, thank I, goodness! I'm in the right place. There's voice acting. Please forgive my intrusion. I uh, let myself into the property. I'm looking for a uh, Mr. Goro Nomaru. Nomaru. I have an appointment with him today. Ah. Uh. I assume Claremont Inc. sent you. Y yes, uh, my name is Hyunjin Choi. Hyunjin Choi? He's Korean. I'm an IT specialist, and I'm here to perform an inspection and Am I right? determine the camp's technological needs. Am I right? He's Korean? It sounds Korean. It's a pleasure to meet you, uh, Mr. Choi? Mr. Choi! <laughs> I'm kidding, it's not a pleasure. Please, just call me Jin. Jin! 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 Boy! Of course. And you can call me Yoshi. Here with oh, no more voice acting. Ah, oh, God, dare you! Here with me are architect Sirius and Foreman Najar. They were also sent by Claremont Inc. Nice to uh, Inc. to work on this expen inspection project. Hey, it's nice to meet you, man. You can you can just call me Lloyd. Looking forward to working with you. <sighs> That's a relief. <sighs> That's a relief to know I'll be working with someone around my age too, Lloyd. <laughs> I'm a lot older than you think, but I got that lot that got that a lot. <laughs> Hello. I'm Darius. Shakes Hyunjin's hand. <sighs> you have really big hands, Darius. And a uh, tight grip too. Yeah. I use them a lot. Uh, anyway. Anyway, mm, yes, anyway. Mm, mm. I, I uh I apologize for it uh, for if I'm late. I was up all night preparing for this. Uh. You're actually quite early. Almost everyone else is still in their cabin, so please don't worry about it. Yeah. I'm, yeah, man, it's only it's only like 6 a.m. Chill. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. It's just I was supposed to be here a day earlier, but I had to reschedule. I'm not really used to working with a large group of people, so I've been preparing myself since this is a big job opportunity for me. Oh, I get you. I never jump into the action without proper prep, or else it'll really hurt my ass. That's why I always make sure to have Dar here to help me, so things will go smoothly and be much more enjoyable. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> uh. Right. Uh, in a project sense, uh, of course. <laughs> anyway. Will you be staying here at camp for the span of this project too? Yes. I was informed that I need to stay and work here on site to ensure maximum output since we have a tight schedule. All right. I hope you don't mind sharing the same quarters I'm in though. All the other cabins have been occupied by the construction workers. Uh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, I don't mind that at all. <laughs> I mean, I get to see some some things while you guys are asleep. In that case. If that's the case, shall we get you and your suitcases settled in? You must be tired from your trip. Uh, uh... That won't be necessary for now. And then all of a sudden, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Click, click, cheek, cheek. I'm a suitcase man 2.0. <laughs> I also don't want to be late for my meeting with the camp president. Of course. Of course. Let me bring you to his, to his office. Well, go ahead, you two. Sorry to cut our conversation short. It's fine. We need to start working too. It was a pleasure to meet you, Jin. It's my pleasure. The pleasure's all mine. Follow me. Right, right. This way, Jin. 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 Come in. Ah, he's already in his leather. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Mr. Hyun Jin Chui just arrived. He's the IT specialist scheduled for a meeting with you today. Ah, yes. I've been expecting you, Mr. Choi. Please, take a seat. Hello. I'm hope I'm not interrupting you by coming earlier than scheduled, Mr. Nomoro. No problem. It's no problem. I'm just ha having my morning coffee. Is it all right with you if we address each other of our first names? Y yes, sir. Of course, sir. You can uh, you can even call me Jin for short. Great. I want to make sure you're comfortable during your stay here. Mr. Claremont told me quite a lot about you and your work. R really? R really? He must be talking about the online bookstore I developed for his publishing company. Impressive. He did show me that in one of your one of our meetings. Pretty impressive work. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sir Goro. Actually, I I have to say, I'm pleasantly surprised meeting you today. When Mr. Claremont said he'd send an IT expert, I thought it would be someone who's a lot older. Y yeah. I was th thinking the same thing, sir. 
You look so stylish for a camp president. <laughs> Spare me the compliments, Jin. Wow. This is probably the first time a new guy hasn't been intimidated so meeting you, sir. Hmm. Apparently, it's always better to be gentle with any first time. <laughs> <sighs> to give you a bit of history, Jin, as this camp's president, I used to lead strictly always char- Strictly, come on. Always charging in with an iron fist. But... 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 I have... But I gave my word to Yoshinori here that I'll try to th take things slowly and make people more relaxed with this approach. <laughs> it seems like you're working on your uh, people landing, sir. Oh. Oh. Well. I'm doing just that with Jin here. And he seems to be very pleased. I really appreciate it. <laughs> okay. I hope you can use my... <laughs> And my skills for the camp. <laughs> let's get back to business. It's great to hear. Now let's get get on to business. Jin. I have appointed Yoshinori here as your guide while you conduct an inspection of the camp. You'll be identifying what's needed to implement all of the technological goals of the, of the approval uh, proposal. Sorry, of the approved proposal. I understand. I understand that we're quite far behind it when it comes to adapting to the digital digi digital age. So we're counting on your knowledge and, rec and recommendations to make the necessary improvements. Please, also bear with us for being so outdated, even about the simplest of things. We're hoping you can better educate us and help us adapt throughout the entire project. Yes, sir! If it's alright with you, I'd like to start here in your office. Hmm. The only piece of technology we have here is our personal computer. Oh. Oh. Well... We know it's fairly outdated, and it runs pretty slow, so we barely touch it now most days. Whoa. Whoa! This computer is at least a decade old! <sighs> I believe it's even older than that. This I got it before the camp was even established. Oh, wow! So it's basically a prehistoric relic! Well, let's give it a chance to take a closer look! Hmm... Eat, 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 eat. None of the fans are running. I'm shocked they even boot up at all. Hmm... It does take a while to turn on. We usually just go to the internet cafe nearby if we need something done digitally. One of our tech-savvy scouts last term actually went there, went there to upload a promotional video. They're compressing everything! Promotional video for our fundraising campaign. Yeah. I, I don't think this, this one was even built to connect to the internet. Well... We just thought we didn't need it, <laughs> since we're an adventure-themed summer camp. Gadgets are also banned from our daily activities. Wait. Wait, don't, that, that, does that mean even the Scoutmasters don't carry phones around? <laughs> oh, oh, okay, here, some, oh, it's covering Guru! Now we're at day four. Day four, everybody, day four. Uh, day four. Let me see. What kind of plus two do we have? It will, it will defeat the spirit of the camp. Okay. That one is, uh, oh, it's a score for Goro. Fantastic. Okay, it will defeat the spirit of the camp. Yes. Yes, we want to set a good example for our scouts. More so, we believe it will go against the spirit of the camp, especially the social aspect of it. Definitely. We encourage our campers to engage with one, one another on a personal level. They are enrolled here to, to experience and enjoy activities that they wouldn't get to normally, where, where technology is so often, often present. Hmm. I understand that it's due to the nature of this camp. But for the sake of emergencies, productivity, and marketing, we really need to consider in integrating technology, at least on the administrative end. For example, installing security cameras and putting a hub here in the office will allow the staff to maintain safety, reducing the need for daily patrols. Hmm. Yeah, and that will give me more, me, me, me more time to do other important tasks. Hmm. We've been so stuck in our ways that we didn't even consider all, the, all of this before. I understand. Sir. People are usually afraid of change because it's something they are not familiar with and are worried to impair what it already works. But I assure you, with my services, we'll be able to integrate new things without having to com com compromise on, with, on the true spirit of your, of your camp. Excellent. Excellent. I see now why Mr. Clermont chose you for this job. Th thank you. Thank you, sir. I I'll make sure I'm worth your trust. I mean, trust. Uh, yeah, I mean, worth your thrust. I mean, trust. Yeah, it's trust, not thrust. <laughs> Anyway, I believe we've covered everything in this introductory meeting. Welcome to the team, Jin. It's my pleasure. Sir, thank you for having me. On that note. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be heading out for a while, Sh Yoshinori. Uh, Yoshinori, please assist Jin here with whatever he needs for today. Yes, sir. 
Jin? Should we get to get you move into our cabin now, Jin? Or get you some breakfast first, at least? Hmm. Ah, I would like to work right away, if that's okay. Thanks for the offer, though. No problem. No problem. Is there anything I can help you with now? Actually. It's the other way around, actually. I've been told uh, that you don't have a stay in computer technician here at camp. So I would like to teach you how to work with a computer and troubleshoot it in case no one is around to fix it. I understand. That makes sense. <laughs> to, to be honest, the most I've ever done with a computer to run it on to read emails. <laughs> Oof! We're gonna have to take the whole day to get you all caught up. I apologize. I apologize. I'm probably going to be a lot to deal with when it comes to using computers. I barely know how the old one here works. Well... We're not going to use that PC anymore. I think using it would cause more headaches instead. In its current state, it won't even it won't even scratch up a portion of our scope. It would be much faster and cheaper to build a new one. Don't worry. Luckily, I've, I came prepared. I assumed the worst and that and and that the camp didn't have a working PC, so I have a pre-built one for you guys in one of my suitcases here. Oh. Oh, so that's what you've been carrying? Yeah. Yep. It will be it. It will take me a little while to assemble with with the new with this new one though. You can assist me, and I'll show you th what each part does and how everything works. Sure. Feel free to order me around. <laughs> Do whatever you like. Don't give Jin the power! Then all of a sudden you'll you'll have gags on your faces. I'm your personal slave. <laughs> I'm your personal slave for today. Uh, uh, the way you say it so sounds like um pityism. Anyway, let's get started. Um. Yes. <laughs> Orny. Okay! Okay! This new PC is all set up. It just needs to finish installing all the software and programs, and then it should be good to go. I'm impressed. That's awesome. After helping you, I've started to understand a little better now. Better how everything works. Thank you. Thank you for taking such a, such so much time to teach me. The way you explained everything to me step by step made me realize how simple it actually was. I do feel bad that it took us all afternoon, though. It probably could have finished a lot faster if it weren't for me. Not a problem. Oh, it's not a problem. It was actually fun teaching some of the stuff I do. Besides, the internet here is super slow, so it's taking a long time to download everything anyway. Oh, he's hungry! I'm sorry about that. Uh, I forgot to have breakfast before I showed up today. <laughs> he offered you earlier and you were like, Oh, it's okay, it's okay, I need to work first. Oh, no. And we worked all day, all the way through lunch too. You must be starving. It's okay. I'm used to skipping meals anyway. I tend to work on a very weird schedule. Whenever I realize I'm hungry, I just go to the nearest convenience store and grab something there. That's not healthy. Not at all. <laughs> oh, you don't have to do that here. Our chef prepares three meals a day for everyone at camp. We should really get you something to eat. Let's head to the mess hall. Dinner should be... It'll be about ready. Whoa! Whoa, this place is so crowded. Where are the people? Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. The, m the mess hall is usually full, full during mealtimes. It's a bit more packed than usual since the workers for the project moved in yesterday. Uh, um... You guys have quite the crowd here. Um, huh? And also there are... Buff... 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 Guys. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Most of them are construction workers, so they do tend to be more fit. I... I see. <laughs> Don't worry. I hope you're not, you're you're hot. <laughs> I hope you're not intimidated by them. Everything everyone here is very friendly. Order ah! up. <laughs> Woohoo! Order up! Two steak slabs coming right up! <gasps> Sexy man on shorts! Aiden! Aiden! Here, over here, Aiden! Where am I gonna put my face? At your service. I put some of my creamy special sauce on it, since you like it so much yesterday. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! It's so it's so good covering your meat! Covering your meat! <laughs> it's so good covering your meat! I can never get enough of it! Dope. Stuff me up. The windows are here! If you know Make what I mean. Make sure to savor the taste when you swallow, alright? <laughs> uh, ah, ah, oh, oh, dude! He's like, uh, ah, oh, what's going on here? Where am I? Where am I exactly? Huh? Huh? What's the matter, Jin? I can't believe it. Is no one else seeing what I'm seeing? Naked? That, that guy over there, he's serving food. Naked! Oh. That's actually one of our scoutmasters. He's in charge of food services and. Camp maintenance. 
And about his attire, I forgot to tell you ahead of time, but he has a this habit of wearing less to cool down from all his work. <laughs> as strange as it sounds, it's actually quite normal around here. What? This is normal here? Where, where have I been all my life? Yoshi! Oh, hey, Yoshi! Aiden! Aiden, how many times have we talked about this? You knew there were new people coming to today. You could have at least put something on so you don't catch our guests off guard. Hey! Hey, I'm wearing something else! Uh, see? I'm wearing undies underneath right now. Ah! <laughs> Bulge! Aiden! You put on your... put your apron down! Oh. oh, is this a new guy? He's quite the twink. Huh? Huh? The twink?! This is, <clears throat> this is Jin. He's our new technology specialist. I was going to bring him here earlier, but he had to get to work first. Hello. Hello, Mr. Um, Mr. Buff Bulgy Man. Nice to meet you. Aiden, <laughs> nice to meet you, Jin. You look like you could use a, use a meal or two. You've come to the right place. Jin. How about I whip out... Oh, I don't like that sound. How about I whip out my nice foot long? Think that'll fill you up? Foot log! Aiden! Aiden! Don't worry. I'm just kidding. Jen, I just love seeing newcomers like you. Something tells me that you and I are gonna have a good time here at camp. I'm sure we definitely will. I apologize, Jin. Aiden is a very friendly person, and he can he can often be quite physical as well. It, it's fine. It's fine. I'm sure I can get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like I like this guy. He knows how to ride along. <laughs> Aiden, can we just get something to eat? Jin hasn't had a meal yet today. Right. Oh, right on time. <laughs> I just finished serving everyone else, so we can have dinner together. <laughs> it's the perfect chance for me to get to know Jin more. <laughs> Intimately. Finally! It's about time we had an official tech guy around here. I'm the closest they got here they got since I know a thing or two about the electrical work. But boy! Let me tell you, it's not the same at all. Not one bit. Oh. I thought you were just a chef here. Well, well, I am. I'm also the laundry man, the gardener, the pool boy, or any kind of job you want me to do. I'm at your service. Oh, wow. You're pretty well-rounded, I see. Oh. Oh. Looks like you want some buns with your dinner. No. no. Not in front of us. Ha, <laughs> let Jaden! Not in front of our salad! Really? In front of our salad, Aiden? <sighs> I'm so so I'm so sorry about how about him, Jin. No big deal. It's not a big deal though. <laughs> deal though? You want some you want me to eat your salad? <laughs> oh, there's another one! What's this one? Ah Wait! I much I much prefer that you guys are comfortable with yourselves around me. You've asked for it. It's just my imagination has been running wild since I arrived here for some reason. You see? See, Yoshi? Jin's cool with it. Oh, it's More luck uh, like huh, actually. <laughs> but as Aiden was saying, feel free to approach him if you need something as well. Uh, okay. Okay! There's one thing I wanted to ask though. How come only one person does all the chores? Oh, another one. Another Aiden answer. We wouldn't have made it this far without him. Actually, Aiden is really skilled at anything he does. We honestly wouldn't have made it this far without him. Yoshi! Oh, shucks, Yoshi! You're flattering me too much in front of Jin! <laughs> but, but really, it never falls to amaze me just how much work you do around here compared to the rest of us. Although... I do have to admit it, that when I saw it I saw in the job briefing that there are only four full-time employees here at the camp, I wonder how you all manage to keep everything running. Yeah, how? Why? When? Ah, 
I do have to admit, when I saw in the job briefing that there are only four full-time employees here at the camp, I wonder how you all managed to keep everything running. Especially during the summer term when you have so many scouts around. Uh, well, that's actually what I'm in charge of. I usually engage the campers with activities and make sure their time here at camp is memorable and meaningful. <laughs> it must have been nice that you guys had a little bit of a break before this project began then, huh? Aww. Not exactly. Poor Yoshi here. He's been losing his mind without stuff to keep him busy. Well. Before the workers arrived, there wasn't much to do, even when I helped you with the, with the chores. It's different from the work that I'm used to, but I'm just glad to be useful again. Useful again. I see. Ah! The boys! My boys! Ha! Ha! I knew I'd pick up a different scent today. The smell of coffee and old clothes is coming from the cage on the guy. I knew it! Cage on a guy over there. You're hiding something. Seriously? Aren't you? How do you even keep track of everyone's scent here? Sheriff broke back. Hey, Sheriff broke back. Who is this guy? Luigi. I thought you were over calling me that nickname. Oh. oh, I see. Hello, nice to meet you guys. I'm J I'm Jin. I was sent here to, to work on tech upgrades for the camp. Lame. Great, another nerd who looks like he doesn't have friends. <laughs> <laughs> Never goes out of his house and only lives off instant noodles. Yuichi! <gasps> Excuse me? Y Yuichi, where are your manners? What the? Wow, he reads you to filth, huh? <laughs> ah, since when did you start talking like Spaghetti Boy? <gasps> <laughs> it must have rubbed off of him. <laughs> I'm so sorry about Yuichi's behavior, Jin. He's rather hostile when it comes to meeting strangers. <sighs> He annoys everyone else here too, but you get used to him. Dynamite! Shut up, dynamite! <sighs> he, he's not wrong though. I'm kind of a shut-in, so I don't often get the chance to make new friends, even online. I'm really thankful. That's why I'm really thankful, Mr. Clermont, for putting me in a job where I have to be indoors, outdoors, and around plenty of people to work with. <laughs> I really need a change in scenery and to stop calling all alone in a dark room. Oh. Although, I'm surprised I was able to pick all that up from just my spell. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, he's he's part dog, so don't be too surprised if he's if he pees in your room and mark, it, mark his territory. <laughs> hey! <clears throat> Please give Jin some space to enjoy his meal properly, you two. Really? In front of my salad? Of course! <laughs> Wait a sec. Speaking of which, how come Gabe, gave it and Goliath... How come David and David and Goliath get steak for dinner while the rest of us get fish and grass? Um, Is he talking about Lloyd and Darius? Anyway, shortly, shortly was fuming. I'm sorry, Shorty was fuming, so I had to drag him away before the giant finished him. Nah, nah. Darius wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> he may be twice as huge, but I can still put up a fight. Wait till he sees how I take his meat. <laughs> I want to see that. Okay, I give up. Anyway. I wanna see that! I wanna see- Is Miko still here? No? Damn it! I should've tell him, Miko, I want that to be- to be true! Anyway, Yuichi, if you're still hungry, if you're, you're welcome to join us. Order up! Two salmon fillets and scissor salad coming right up! Blech! <laughs> After our dinner, Jin and I went back to the office to finish up the co computer setup. Oh, it's night time. <gasps> oh. Right. There we go. Everything's installed and ready to go. Wow. It's so different from our old PC, and it runs so fast too. Don't worry. It'll run faster once we get our, get your internet here upgraded. That's a work for another day. Oh. Oh, sorry. I thought we, there was nobody in here. Oh my. Oh my. Who's this fine gentleman? Uh. Uh, I believe you two haven't met yet. This is Jin. He's the tech specialist that we're we were expecting today. Jin, this is Yuri, one of my fellow scoutmasters. She's also Sir Goro's daughter. Sorry. I'm sorry, I couldn't meet you a little earlier, Jin. The workers kept me busy all day long. I hope you've found Camp Buddy welcome welcoming at least. Hmm. Huh? What's with all your what's with all the stuff you're carrying? Oh. Oh these? It's just some stuff I unboxed from some of the crates when I finished work today. Uh Eh? Uh, uh? uh? Oh, oh. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but that book you're holding. Is that the limited edition rare unavailable on the market? Oh, Home run down, Jin Shi! <laughs> what? How did you know? That's really cool. I, I played the game. I played the game that comic is based on, and my big, no, huge fan. Could it 
be? <gasps> Are you? C could it be? Uh, uh, what's going on? Oh my! You, you like BL too? Yes! I love it! OMG! I can't believe I found another one like me! I can't believe it! How did you get your hands on that? It's been phased out for years! I know, right? It took me so long to get this copy, but the Yaoi gods blessed me when I saw on a forum that a store was selling one signed copy! You see? <laughs> Yoshinori, I was even kind enough to buy it at the, at the capital for me! Wow! This is the only one I was miss missing from my collection at home! I already have everything from the artist circle except for this! I pledged to myself that if I found someone selling it, I'd definitely buy it, no matter how high the price. But... But I'm very up to date on all the forums! How could I have missed the sale?! <laughs> Well, you're looking at the number one bitter in BL b m black market. Wait! Don't tell me! You're Big Butterfly 69! That's right. <laughs> That's right. I can't believe it. You're a legend! I read all your fanfics. I love them so much. OMG! I can't believe you read them! How embarrassing! <laughs> what's, your favorite, what's your favorite genre? Well... I, I like them all, but I prefer... <clears throat> Muscles is the most. Yeah! <laughs> Who doesn't like muscles, right? Oh, gee. I really can't believe that I'm talking to the pink butterfly 69. I'm looking at the long lost home run, don't you, she? Well? Well, you can borrow it if you want. You'd let me? Really? Oh, thank you so much. You're a you're goddess from heaven. Oh, in return, I'll lend you my 10 terabyte hard drive full of hardcore BL. They're all uncensored too, fresh of my breeding man gag. They referenced my reading manga? Oh my god. <laughs> I need water. I cannot process that they referenced my reading manga. <laughs> Oh my god, she's doing the Ahigao face. Y you're really into this stuff too, J Jin. Uh, uh. Uh, sorry! I lost my composure. I'm just overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite alright. I'm used to Yuri having moments like this all the time. I'm actually surprised you two resonate so much. Of course. <laughs> of course, Yushi. Us BL lovers gotta stick together. Isn't that right, everybody? Pling! I was wondering why you were acting a little odd while I was touring you around today. I guess this explains a lot. I, I'm sorry. I tried to hide it since it was inappropriate behavior. But everyone I met kept saying suggestive things left and left and right. And I wasn't sure if everyone knew my dirty little secret. It's all right. Oh, don't think like that, Jin. We encourage everyone's hobbies and interests here at Camp Buddy because we too are into it. <laughs> so please feel free to express yourself. Whoa. I just don't want to make anyone feel comfortable. I promise myself I do my best to keep everything professional at this job. Well. You've already worked hard, <laughs> even on your first day. I think you deserve to loosen up a little. <sighs> you did it again. Huh? Huh? Anyway. Anyway, what did your boys work on today? Uh, uh Jin replaced our office computer with a much better one. He even taught me how to use it and troubleshoot it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I noticed it as soon as I got in here. It looks pretty cool, Jin. Thank you. Where is it? You're, you're welcome. You're welcome, Pink Butterfly 69. Actually... <laughs> I'm actually shocked you were able to teach Yoshi about computers too. He's such a caveman when it comes to anything tech. Must have taken the whole day, am I right? Come on. Come on, you don't have to rub it in my face, Yuri. Oh, you said it again! Oh, oh and I noticed we have a new printer too. Yeah. yeah, it's ten times more ink efficient than the old one. I recommend this one when I found out find that you guys print a lot of pamphlets and ad materials. It also has a scanner too, Yuri. Mr. Clermont wanted to make sure you guys have all the basic office equipment. That means I don't have to go out and get the side eye at the internet cafe whenever I have to ask them to scan naked guy men making love to each other! Uh, please. Once you make soft copies of your collection, please share them with me too. OMG! That gives me an idea, Jen! I could get a physical copy of all of your stuff too! You'll, you'll let me print them out, right? <sighs> Try not to go overboard, Yuri. Hmm. Killjoy! Young Yoshi will have said yes! Huh? Huh? You guys grew up together? Oh! Oh, sorry. Sort of. Yuri, Aiden, Lloyd, Darius, and I were actually from the very first batch of Camp Buddy Scouts. Sir Goro was even our scoutmaster back then. Whoa! Th 
That's a big news to me! <laughs> We're just a surprise, even though we took different paths after the, the first term. We ended up being reunited like this, and for the future of the camp too. Hmm. That's really interesting. It makes me want to know more about this camp's history. Here. Look, look no more. I have the perfect thing right here. Really? I Did you really carry that around all the time, Yuri? Yes. This journal has all my precious scout memories, and they're mostly about Camp Buddy's debut. That's really cool. I would love to read through it and learn the history of the camp. I think understanding the camp's origins will really help me with my work here. Uh. Uh, that actually gives me an idea. Why don't we work together to transcribe the journal and its pictures online? We could set up a section on the website Jin will be Jin will be making called the History of Camp Buddy. That's a great idea. Yoshi, but so many of the pictures have de deteriorated over the years. I'm not sure if they'll really be useful. Oh. Oh, but I bet Jin can fix those. He's got so many computer skills. Surely that's one of them too. <sighs> that's not exactly the same as programming, Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I know a thing or two or two about multimedia editing too. In fact, I used to do photo restoration as a side job before. Wow! You can really do that? I'd love to. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to. I'll be honest, I'm very intrigued about all these photos you have. I know this is just my th first day, but for some reason you guys make me feel like I've been part of this for a long time. Huh? Jim! You're such a soft boy! We must protect you at all costs! Let's give it a shot. I say we give it a shot right away. You guys can help me fix up the photos correctly based on your memory, and then we'll transcribe the events from that day. Let's go! This sounds like a plan! No! It's the minigame! Photo restoration minigame. Help you generally find all the errors in the picture to unlock a past memory. Find the differences in the picture on the right and click on them to restore the photo. Oh god, the picture on the left represents the correct image, so make sure to make look at it carefully! The game runs on a timer, so be sure to find all five errors. I hate this! Make sure you don't click just anywhere or you'll damage the photo! Okay... Dick... Um... Upside down... K... He has no backpack. Um. Oh no! Only one more. Uh. No. No. Shoes. Goro's hair. Oh yeah, Goro's hair. Thank you. Well, I got four out of five, right? At your service. The staff is- oh my god, here we go! The staff is ready for the scouts inside. The meal for the reception party is all prepared as well, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Andre. You can return to your post now. My daughter and I will wait here to, to welcome the scouts. Yes, sir. Alright. Is this Yoshinori's first day? Right, dear. Everything should be ready now for our first official day of camp, buddy. <gasps> I don't- I can't believe it's actually happening, Dad! I'm so excited for all the activities and to make new friends! <laughs> I'm excited as well. I'm pretty sh I'm sure we'll have a memorable f first term considering how much we prepare for this. Dad. I can help you teach everyone, Dad. I've learned a lot from our camping days together after all. Well, well, you can leave all the work to me, dear. I'm a scout master now and your job as a scout is to have fun and learn as much as you can. Fine. But you better not bore everyone with your lectures. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I'll have all sorts of activities to sort everyone in everyone's interest. Look. Yep, I knew it. Oh, let's get let's greet our first scout. Come in. Hello, welcome to camp, buddy. Good morning. Good morning, sir. I'm Yuchinori Nagera. I, reg I registered here for the summer. <laughs> My name is Goro Nomuro. I'm the camp president. I'll be your scout scout master for this term. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, sir. Uh, thank you for having me. Yoshinori. Looks like you're quite the early bird, Yoshinori. Assembly is still an hour from now. Ooh. I thought I was late when I was uh, when I saw there was already a scout here. <laughs> well. Quite the contrary. You're the first one to arrive. This scout beside me is my daughter. Nice to meet you. Hi, Yoshinori. I'm Yuri. Nice to meet you. Oh my god, Reese. Could you voice this for me? Nice 
to meet you too. I, it's nice to meet you too, Yuri. You can call me you. You can call me Yoshi. Yoshi. We're, we're gonna have some so much fun this this summer, Yoshi. There's plenty of other others coming soon. So and there'll be at least a hundred of us. Wow, well, well, that's exciting! I read from the brochure. We're also gonna learn a lot too. That's right. Camp Buddy is a scout themed summer camp, after all. We're, we're taking the survival, teamwork, and leadership skills. We're scouting and mixing them up, up with all of the fun. Recreational activities of a summer camp. Yes, sir. That's exactly what I signed up for, sir. I never got the chance to join something like this when, when I was little, so I'm really looking forward to experiencing it now. Excellent. Now that's the spirit. I really appreciate your enthusiasm. Yeah! We should get you in your uniform already, Yoshi. I know, I know. Let's get your dress. I have the perfect tie color for you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Looks like we're in for a great year. <laughs> oh! We've got you settled in at last, Jin. Today's been such a long day. Yeah. yeah, you said it! I can't remember the last time I was there this active. I was so nervous that I screw up dealing with so many new people. But you really made me feel warm and welcome from the get-go. Thank you so much. For being such a great host. Yoshi? It's my pleasure. Jin, that really means a lot coming from you. Now please get some rest. You can take the top bunk on the right side. Oh, right. right. You did say earlier we'd be sharing the room with the others. Where are they? In. In. I, I gotta tell you, Aiden. You're such a Gemini. Very adaptable, a multitasker, and quite the charmer. <sighs> you must be popular with everyone. Life is so unfair. Why am I such an Aries? An Aries? An Aries? Lloyd? Where do you even learn all these things, Lloyd? <laughs> From fiction. <laughs> hey! Horoscopes are not fiction! How do you explain with why everything is so accurate, huh? Good evening. Good evening, you guys. Oh. Don't tell me Jin's our roommate, too. Yeah. Yeah, he'll be taking the last bunk in here. Nice. Nice. <laughs> the more, the merrier, right? It's fine. If I did notice that there are only four beds, so I can sleep on the couch. Oh. Oh, I'm not letting you do that, Jin. You can use mine. Come on! Oh, come on, you guys. No one's sleeping on the couch. Dar and I can just share one bed. What? Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah, are you sure? Why am, why, why am I salivating? All of us, I'm salivating. What the hell? Why am I salivating? Do I, do I need this? Yeah. They've been sleeping together all this time. <laughs> it feels like we're all a big sleepover or something. Am I right? Well. Well, I'm not sleeping just yet. I still have to brew up my nightly do detox. Uh. Actually, I, I need to make some coffee too. Huh? Coffee? This late at night? Yeah. I have some stuff I wanted to work on still. Sheesh. Yoshi, look what you've done to Jin just in just a day. No. No, Aiden. Uh, it's really, it's really just a habit of mine. All right. <laughs> I just. <laughs> he answered, "Do I need this? Yes. <laughs> just, just don't stay up late. All right, Jin. Sh sure. Question mark. Good night. I'm going to sleep. Good night. I'm eating the hay too. Got another long day coming up tomorrow. Good night. Good night, you guys. Sharing the cabin with everyone made me feel like I was a scout again. It's only been a few days and so much has changed already. <laughs> you know, this big bed is fit for two, you know. Huh? Everyone's left already? Again? <gasps> you're the you're the caterer now. <sighs> That's when I thought I'd be the first one up since everyone went to bed much later than I did. I'm starting to feel like everyone's really got their own thing to work on. Well, I just oversee everything but don't actually get involved much. Uh. Ah, I shouldn't be thinking this way. I'll just focus on finding where I can help out today. What is this? What are you giving me, game? Goro, top choice. Report to the office. Before that. Before that, I have to make sure to report to the office first. I'm not sure Goro will want to know how, how yesterday went. So that's why there are 30 plus Good scenes. Good morning, sir. Ooh. This is it! Sir Goro not here? I wonder if he's out again no. today. Oh I, oh, I think he's still in his quarters. I should go and check. This is it! Where have you been all my life? Oh, baby. Where have you been all my life? 
You were young back then, and now you're older now. I am young today, but I am here somehow. I'm gonna eat that steak, lick those lips, making you mine. I'm gonna lick those lips. Touch those cheeks and take me cause I'm yours Oh baby, I know that we will be together Cause baby, we were meant forever <laughs> I didn't think Sogoro would still be asleep, he's usually the first one up I can't blame him for sleeping in he must be exhausted from his errands yesterday. Okay, uh, remind me that we're doing the top, okay? <laughs> I kind of have short-term memory loss. See seeing him resting peacefully like this is kind of relieving, though. He's usually either slump over paperwork. I think I chose I chose the... No, no, it can't be. I, I'm not sure, but okay, anyway. He's usually either slump over paperwork on his desk or out all day handling... Import matters for the camp. Okay, guys, FYI, huh? I don't know if it's Yoshinori who's the top or Goro's the top. So since we chose the top choice, we're gonna go all through all through top choices, and then we're going for the bot choices. Okay? All right. Um, I just realized. So I just realized Sir Goro's almost naked right in front of me. I've never really paid close attention before to how built and muscular he to how built and muscular he is. He's kept himself perfectly fit throughout the years, despite his busy schedule. Not only that, but it seems like he's been grooming himself from the clean trim of his beard, the hairs on his chest, and all of the way down of his. Is this really all Sir Goro wears on his sleeve? He's normally like so conservative, so I didn't expect something this revealing for someone like him. That underwear is barely containing that's packing in there. Hmm? <gasps> uh, Sir Goro! Ah, Sir Goro! <sighs> Yoshinori. I'm ready, sir! I am ready, sir! I'm ready for you, sir! I'm ready for you, sir! <clears throat> Wait, what? I, I mean, I'm ready for your orders, sir. <laughs> oh, crap, why did I let that slip out of my tongue? <laughs> I'm ready, sir. <clears throat> Anyway, I didn't think of you of all people would come into my room. I would come into your room if you give me the chance. I apologize for walking into your private space, sir. <laughs> Let me touch that private space! <laughs> it's alright, Yoshinori. There's no need for privacy, especially with you. We've gone hand in hand over the years. Hand in hand over the years? What have you two been doing? Well, I mean, it's probably out of my bounds to see you in the raw, sir. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, Yoshinori. Or is there? Not at all, sir. In fact, I think you look bulked <sighs> up, sir. You say that with your eyes down my... Ooh! Uh, I was talking about your body, sir. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's it! It's been a while since I've last seen you like this. <laughs> Don't get too flustered, Yoshinori. Like I said a few days ago, I'm just trying to ease up around you more often. Uh, right, sir. Right, sir. What time is it anyway? 
I must have overslept. It's dickin' time! <laughs> it's, uh, nine in the morning, sir. <sighs> I see. Let me get up, then. I like what I'm saying. I say, I say, I like what I'm saying. I look, I say, I say, I like what I'm saying. Winner, winner, in my dinner. Thank you again for waking me up. It seems that my body clock isn't properly tuned today. It's all right. It's all right, sir. Honestly, I didn't expect to wake you when I first came in here. <laughs> wow. It's a good thing you did, or else I wouldn't have the, be able to work on my checklist today. Uh, about that, sir. That was the reason I was looking for you. I was wondering if there was anything I could do to assist you with your task. Hmm. Uh, actually, I was planning to oversee the construction today. In your undies, sir? Based on the report Yuri gave me last night, it looks like they are ready. They are a day behind at the site clearing. <sighs> I've been swamped with management tasks and missing out on what's actually going on in each department. I want to check and see how things are going for myself and see if there's anything I could do to help. Come with me. <laughs> they will, sir! They will, sir! Why did you come along with me? Sure. Oh, sure, I'd be happy to help, sir. Firstly, we have to get you out of those pants! Great. Then I should probably get dressed. Can we watch? <laughs> Unless you're not finished with the view. <laughs> I'll just wait for you outside, sir! Wait. Wait, Yoshinori, I'm just... Wait, wait, come back! Chato mate! No! No! Sorry. I'm sorry again for invading your privacy, sir! I... <laughs> Baka! Well... Whoa! My God! Jesus! Holy mother of Moses! Hey! Daddy looks good in his attire. Oh, hi, Dad and Yoshi. Good morning. Yuri, did you gather everyone for work? I was hoping we could get back on schedule today. Uh, yes. Yesterday, we were able to sur survey the land and mark the trees we'll, we'll need to cut down. Unfortunately... I don't think that we'll be able to finish all the chopping today, unfortunately. Even though we have a big team, there's just a ton of trees and clutter to get rid of. Hmm. I see. So that's why. Huh. <laughs> <coughs> Lloyd? Do you have any estimate for when you think we can finish the site clearing phase? So, with the current for workforce, we should be done in around two to three days. So, I have to file a report to Mr. Cremont by the, by the end of the week. So that means we have to finish the weekly checklist before then. I apologize. That's pretty partly my fault, sir. I didn't foresee that the expansion site would have this much vegetation. I should have conducted the survey earlier. It's all right. Please, it's not. It's none. It's no one's fault. I'm sure Mr. Claremont will understand if there are minor adjustments in our schedule. Besides, I think we can cut down the work too by reducing the amount of trees we'll take down. Furthermore, I believe that if we conserve some of them, they'll plant complement the structure we we're building here. That's a great idea. That's an excellent idea, sir. I can easily adjust the site development plan to retain some of the trees and incorporate the camps as aesthetics. That's great. Good thinking, Dad. Okay. On top of that, we'll make sure to work overtime today to speed things up a bit. Well. Well, maybe I could help out as well. I was planning to be more hands-on today. Anyway. We can do it! You don't need to, sir. You can leave it to me and Yuri to supervise everyone. Lloyd. He meant with chopping tr trees, Lloyd. What? 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 Sir Goro, the camp president is gonna chop wood with us? Yes. Me and... And I'm here to volunteer too. It's gonna be a new thing to us anyway. Sir Goro, Aiden, and, and I have a rotation job for chopping wood. <laughs> What did you guys th think my dad got so buff? He's always been a fan of working out. <laughs> I've spent too much time behind the desk recently and I'm eager to stretch my muscles. Wow! Wow! Uh, now it all makes sense that that you've always been so fit, sir. This camp really struck gold with its leader. Yeah. Brains and brawn. Anyway. Anyway, we should make the most of the daylight. Let me just gear up and we'll start working. Yes, sir! All right. <laughs> I can't help it. He's so daddy. The God boy, man. He's so daddy. Puta, he's so daddy. I love it. Oh no. All right, I'm ready. It's been a while since I've seen you chop wood, sir. I have to admit, I might be a little rusty now from doing nothing but paperwork for weeks. You can do it. I'm sure you're still in perfect shape, sir. 
No, how about how about we make it a challenge and see who chops down the most today, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to keep up with you, sir. Come on. Where's your competitive spirit, Yoshinori? You didn't build build those arms for nothing, right? Uh, 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 well, uh, hmm. or is f or is it because you think I won't stand a chance just because you're younger? Hmm? No. Not at all, sir. That's not what I was thinking. Show me what you got. Then grab an axe and show me what you've got. With just a few powerful swings, Sir Sir Goro, no! It bounces! With just a few powerful swings, Sir Goro was able to topple down his first tree. It's crazy what those arms can do! Are you keeping up, Yoshinori? Oh, yes, sir! I'm keeping up with my eyes, sir! I am working on it, sir. <laughs> Come on. The wood's not even hard at all. Put some more force into it! Sir! I'm like Jin! Like, sir! Please! No! Yes, sir. Uh. Timber! <laughs> not bad, Yoshinori. <sighs> Jesus Christ! Everyone's starting to watch Sir Gore as he fells as he fells each tree. I don't blame them, I can't help but look too. Like, oh my god, that hunk of a man, that Adonis! It reminds me of when I watch him do this every morning. You what? Ah! <laughs> oh! 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 Oh my god! Oh, no! Oh, the girl. I'm heating up! I'm sweating! Sir Goro has always loved to keep himself in shape no matter what the task. <laughs> even after all these years, he's had that same display of strength that really made me look up to him even more. In fact, he's even the reason I started working out in the first place. What's the matter, Yoshinori? Running out of breath already? Oh, whoa! Are you talking to me? <laughs> uh, a little, sir. <laughs> Let's take a break for a while, then. <sighs> what is that? Beautiful. So, I can see his nipples. <clears throat> oh, so beautiful. Look at the, look at the beauty. I'm surprised, Yoshinori. You're not usually winded so easily. <laughs> what happened to the scow who never ran out of energy back then? <sighs> I've always had trouble keeping up with you, sir. I mean, you're the toughest guy I've ever known. <laughs> I'm not sure about all that. I'm just glad I was able to get out here and actually be involved today. <clears throat> and that's actually something I really admire about you, sir. You were able to jump in today and provide solutions right away. And you didn't hesitate to get involved either. I wish I had that same kind of confidence and ability to take charge when needed. Huh? What makes you think you don't, Yoshinori? <sighs> Are you having the same doubts you talked about a few days ago? <sighs> that place is not the only... Those place is not the only only place that's gonna have a expansion site, if you know what I mean! Well, it's not that big of a deal, but yes, I've never been able to fully shake off my negative mindset about my role here at Camp Buddy. Oh, that's just, just a, a, a shame, isn't it? You're talking about your role for this expansion project, right? Mm-hmm. Sorry, sir. I've been thinking of something else. Yeah. I keep waking up every day ready to work, but I don't have any specific jobs other than just overseeing things. Meanwhile, everyone else has their own exciting tasks <clears throat> that contribute to the project directly. You take care of the camp maintenance, Yuri handles the builders, and Sir Goro has the most important job of dealing with things behind the scenes. Huh? But you gave two examples for Sir Goro. You take care of the camp maintenance. I... You mean, are you t talk, talking about Aiden? Well, guess we're gonna have some 1.2, I guess, or 1.1. 1. 1. 
and all the new jobs that come up are being taken care of by the specialists. Everyone besides me has been doing such a good job lately. I just can't help but feel irrelevant. Yoshinori. I know it sounds stupid. I'm honestly embarrassed telling you all of this, sir. No, it's all right. It's perfectly normal to feel a little out of place with the current state of the camp. But remember, you're a scoutmaster. Your job is to take care of the scouts. Oh, Miko, Miko's Miko back! <laughs> Miko, darling, did you... Miko, darling, did you receive my message from Twitter? Because we found a kone, we found a little proofreading error. <laughs> and because it's the off-season, that role naturally feels empty to you right now. So give it some time, and let yourself adjust. It's been less than a week since the expansion project kicked off, after all. Yep. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate your advice. Well, I'm glad you still trust me enough to tell me your doubts and concerns. It's been a long time since we got to talk like this, and it really brought me back to the days when I was there to guide you as your scoutmaster. Look at, look at how Yoshinori looks at Goro. I wish my man would look at me like that. <laughs> Although, you're always the one who listened when I had problems <laughs> with my family. It's okay, Miko. At least you didn't you didn't saw me hyperventilating. <laughs> I really didn't mind, sir. In fact, I was more than happy to be someone you could talk to. You really did help me get through some tough times. I owe you a lot for that. Oh, this is love. Mm -hmm. So this is love. And yet, I became so distant over the years that I couldn't even return the favor. Oh, this is a love quote. <laughs> oh, you were going through a lot. I think it's the correct answer. At least he's looking up to Goro instead of looking down. If you get what I mean. <laughs> I don't hold anything against you, sir. I don't hold anything against you, sir. Yeah. Such a top. <laughs> Since I left after the first term, you had to manage everything on your own. I can only imagine how much more difficult it was to be in your shoes. To be in your shoes would be... Or to be stepped on by your shoes. Ooh. Well, I do believe everything happens for a reason. Do you believe in magic? <laughs> and all we can do is control how we respond to those events. And try our best, no matter the circumstances. Ah, I am surprised. Globe is having a good internet today. Ah. <laughs> that kind of reminds me of the buddy law, sir. Oh, really? What are they? One, two, three. What is it? <clears throat> I didn't mean to sound so sentimental. Well, I feel a lot more motivated now. Thank you, Sir Goro. Good. Now channel that motivation into that axe, and let's get back to chopping. <laughs> Oh yes, sir, I will channel that energy and motivation into my axe! <laughs> yes, sir. I'm really glad Sir Goro and I had our talk because I want him to touch my axe. <laughs> it really made me feel better to know that, that we understand each other. After our talk, we spent the rest of the day chopping up more trees. It was hard work, but we managed to finish it all just before sunset. <laughs> it's not it's not yet microphone just, just wait look at the background my god i love it you can feel that you're there that might be the most trees i've chopped down in my life impressive looks like we don't have to worry about firewood for the winter i even th think these might last us until next year i have to say you're not too shabby after all yoshinori you managed to keep up with me today with me sir sir Sir, sir, sir. No way, sir. I only took down half, about half as many as you did. I didn't stand a chance of winning that challenge. <laughs> huh. you, you tried. It was a good workout, though, wasn't it? Uh. <laughs> uh, you don't look like um, you're tired at all, sir. <sighs> don't get me wrong. I have my limits, too. I could really use a message tonight. Oh. A massage? I, sorry. I, I, read, I, I read message, but it's actually a massage. Oh, I can give you one if you... Wow, everything cleared over here. Good job, you two. Ah. Looks like you'll you'll have cleared up over there as well. Great work. Yeah. Dar was chopping trees down like crazy. Oh, he has motivation. 
I wish I could help as much as you guys do. It's okay. You helped carry the wood. <laughs> Great job. Yeah, everyone really worked hard today. The place looked a lot bigger without all the vegetation. Wow. Look at it all cleared like this makes me realize how much larger Camp Buddy property is. Yeah. Yeah, this is probably one of the biggest sites I've ever worked on. I'm really excited to, s to start groundbreaking soon. Right? We should be back on schedule now, right? Hmm, I think... I'd say we're about we're at about 80% completion of the original target. You guys can leave the rest for us tomorrow and we'll finish it before sunset. Excellent. And since it's already sundown, I believe we can all call it a day. Great job, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now, if you, if, now if you boys don't mind, I have to wash up. I got dirty from trying to ca carry stuff around too. All right. Okay, prestidigitation. If that's the case, then I'll have to shower. Oh, shower! To shower somewhere else, elsewhere. Sir. You can use the ones in our quarters, sir. We have several cubicles there. Something. Oh, I smell something fishy. <laughs> no way! I don't have it. I have body odor. Just so you know. It's good. Even your sweat smells good. It smells sweet, huh? Anyway. Shall we all go now before it gets chilly out here? Have fun. Oh no! You're gonna kill me. Have fun, Miko. You're gonna kill me. Miko's gonna kill me. If I'm gonna get a heart attack... Guys! Oh no! There's five of them now! <laughs> hey, hey, guys! Aiden! What happened to you? You're a mess! Ah, and you reek too! Did you fall in the dumpster or something? Whoops! Sorry, I cleaned the pool today and I guess a lot of sludge got into me. <laughs> you guys are one to talk. <laughs> You're all covered in dirt. Actually... We started clearing out the site today. Had to chop lots of wood and move stuff around. Sir Goro. Helped us too. Hmm. We were a little behind schedule in the site clearing, so I decided to lend an extra hand. Gramps! Oh, good thing you didn't hurt your back, Gramps. Actually. He actually chopped down the most out of everyone, Aiden. Awesome. Didn't know you still had it in you, Gramps. <laughs> <sighs> no, no! It's six now! Good morning, guys. What? It's like 8 in the evening. You're way off. Uh, I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I must have overslept a little. Did I miss anything? Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, d wait a minute? You were sleeping all day while all of us were working our asses off? That... It's not what you think. I wasn't slacking off. Jin. Yeah, Jen's telling the truth, though. He was up all night yesterday working on his laptop, and he was still awake when I got up this morning to make breakfast. Wait. Wait, does that mean you haven't slept since you got here, Jin? I have now, but yeah, I didn't really sleep the night before either. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. I don't know how you do that. I don't function well without my eight hours of REM sleep. <laughs> you too? Oh my god. Yes. He's a night owl. R right. Yeah, that's right. I I'm more focused and productive during the night. Perhaps. I suppose you work better during no those hours. But isn't that a little unhealthy? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Do you have trouble sleeping, Jen? It it's fine. I'm fine. Please don't worry about me. Oh! Oh! Have you have you tried sleeping, sipping a ni nice warm cup of chamomile tea before bed? It's a natural and organic treatment for insomnia. Darius usually has trouble sleeping sometimes as well, and it works wonders for him. <laughs> I like tea. I like tea tea. <laughs> <laughs> that can knock this big guy out. That should solve your insomnia problems. But, but I don't have insomnia. Come on. Give him a break, guys. His brain is just more active at night. There's nothing more to it. That's right. Besides, Jin's tasks do, do not need to follow a strict daily schedule. As long as he gets the job done, then there's no problem. I guess. I guess if he does it all the time, then he's no. His body must have already developed its own uh, circadian rhythm. Huh. You really don't want to let this go, huh, Lloyd? <laughs> I hope everything's all right. Forgive me for asking, but I've been wondering why everyone's covered in dirt. Did something happen out there while I was asleep? Oh yeah, we had mud wrestling, Jin. Oh. Oh, we'll just work on physical tasks today. We should probably get wa washed up now, though, huh? Ah, I've been wanting to do that since we got he back here. This dirty, sticky sweat is really bad for my skin. Hey, are you... Are, are you, like, a 50% Edward? Oh. Oh, you guys are gonna take a shower? Yeah. Are you planning on using the bathroom, Jin? Well... I was about to. I really haven't got the chance to shower ever since I got here. But you guys can go ahead. I can be at the back of the queue. Huh? back of the queue? The, the bathroom's big enough for all of us. <sighs> to save time, water, and heating here at Camp Buddy, we, sh we showered together. What? <laughs> what? Together? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We used to do that all the time when we were scouts, too. How about... You need to... Uh, me need to wash your back again. Hey. 
My arms are long enough for how, how, how to reach. Wait! I've never really taken a shower with someone else, but, 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 but... Nope. No buts. Oh, wait, actually, there's been a lot of buts. <laughs> but... <laughs> We're all men here. We're all men here! <laughs> there's nothing to be embarrassed about. <sighs> oh, my dear lord. Come on. Now, now, guys, if Jin isn't comfortable with it, maybe we shouldn't... <laughs> well, if you all insist... I guess I go join! He was like, <laughs> Alright! Alright, what are you waiting for? Then let's go! It's too bad that Sir Gora and I got interrupted. I was really enjoying what we're doing. Especially after a long day's work. I hope that we got the chance to catch up again soon. As I ended up going to sleep even more bent up than before. Because freaking I then has to ruin the moment. I can't die. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It feels good, huh? 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 Uh, yeah. It's been so long, I forgot how good you were in bed. Mm, who's this? That's right. Go slow. I like it that way. What? Go! 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 Ooh la la! <laughs> it was just a dream! Hmm. It was strange and also very sexual. Now I'm turned on too. Good thing nobody's around right Not now to see this. And then. And then Jenna's like. <sighs> <sighs> this must be because of what happened last night. It made me so pent up. I couldn't even sleep properly thanks to that. Holding it and holding it in wasn't a good idea after all. I guess. And it can't be helped. I had just half the time. <gasps> He's gonna masturbate? But I haven't had time for anything like that in a long time. Sir Goro. Once told me that nothing beats the company of someone else, that when you have to relieve yourself, this kind of urge. A man's best friend, his hands. <laughs> <laughs> now that I think about it, I wonder if that was a subtle invite. I guess. I can handle it alone this time. After relieving myself, well, that was quick. I hurriedly, hurried, hurriedly cleaned up my ma my my mess, my mess, and got ready for the day. Since everyone else was gone for the cabin again this morning, they must have already gotten to work. I'd have to catch up. Oh, who is this wonderful lady? Oh, we have a visitor, and she looks so well dressed. Oh. There he is, the man of the hour. I was waiting for you, Yoshinori. Since when were you the tardy person, hmm? Have all these years that camp buddy really changed you that much? What? Uh, yeah, what? Who are oh, you? Wait, don't tell me you don't remember me. And here I was, hoping that you'd be the one to introduce me to everyone, because you knew me the best. Who are you? <laughs> w wait a minute. Amelia? 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 Is that you? Bingo! You got that right. I'll give you a pass for the lapse in memory, since this place is so far away from civilization. <laughs> I wonder why. I can't believe it. It's been so long, I barely recognized you. I could say the same for you. And, well, everyone for that matter. Who are you? Are you, are you supposed to be his lover before? What brings you back here to camp, buddy? This is the last place I'd expect to see you. Why, that's not a very hospitable way to welcome back an alumnus. Ah. Let's just say I'm here on very important business. Like? Miss Komarova here was chosen to be the inspector for the whole project by Claremont Dick. She's the inspector? Whoa, really? You seem surprised. I hope that's a good thing. Oh, it's just, it's so unexpected. I didn't know you worked for Mr. Claremont, especially for a job like this. I can't blame you for holding me to such a high standard, even after all these years. I come from an unforgettably prestigious background, after all. Sure, Emilia. But after seeing the opportunity, I just knew that I was the perfect fit. And there's no better time than the present, so let's get started. Regardless. I, sorry, it's not, it's not, it's me to talk now. Before anything else, I believe we should at least introduce you to the team. That's not necessary. The only people I need to know are already familiar faces, so there's no need for that. And for those new ones, you'll know me when you know me. Now then. Now, shall we proceed with the preliminary inspection? Wait. 
I thought the inspection was scheduled for the for the end of the week, though. Mr. Claremont. I told Mr. Claremont I would be arriving ahead of schedule. The best inspections are done unexpectedly, after all. I see. After all. You've hooked a pretty big fish, having Mr. Claremont Incorporated sponsor this camp. Thankfully for all of you, I'm, I'm here to make sure he gets his money's worth. Can you guys fill me in on who she is? Seems like she knows the rest of you. And she looks like she isn't a fan of introductions either. Oh. Oh, she, oh she's that rich girl from back then. Can't forget about her. Actually. I did. I'm not sure. <laughs> I remember, right? But I think she used to hang out with Yoshi a lot. Whoa. Oh, Yoshi. Yoshi Nori? Really? Uh... I think the more accurate term was clingy. Yoshi is super nice to everyone, after all. Oh, no. Uh... Oh, no. She's the hero? <laughs> You mean, she, yo, she's the only one who tolerated her. <laughs> Why does she have to be the inspector of all people? Um... Just like everyone is in the fan of her. <sighs> it can't be helped. She made quite the impression at the very, very start. Oh, yeah. It was a camping trip, if I remember right. Oh, blue, 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 blue. All right. We've, we've, we've arrived at our destination. For the camping trip, I want you all to work together in groups of six to set up camp. Understood. I've assigned different tasks for each group, and everyone needs to finish before sunset. Your scoutmaster will, will be watching, and if we see any of you slacking off, you'll get a demerit badge. Sergoro! Sergoro, I can be in charge of the tents. <laughs> Getting dibs on the most difficult one, I see. No problem. That's not a problem, Sergoro. I already have Yuri and Aiden with me anyway. We just need to get three more people. All right. Oh, Bat's head. Oh, all right. I'll leave that up to you, and I'll check on your group myself before sunset. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. That's all for now. I'll attend to the other groups. Get to work. Yoshi. Why did you have to choose the most boring chore? We could have gone exploring and finding stuff like firewood or something. What? We already did that last camping trip. We don't want to do the same thing over and over, right? Besides, it'll show the scout masters how flexible we are, no matter the task. <laughs> You're such a dork, Yoshi. Hey. I think it'll be fun. It's my first time actually joining you guys camping. After all. See? See? Aiden gets it. Where's your camping spirit, y Yuri? <sighs> Fine, you guys win. Where are we gonna get three people, though? We, s we definitely need the help, cause I'm not gonna good at building like Yoshi. Did somebody say... Oh my god. <clears throat> He's... Oh, Lloyd! Oh, Darius! Darius! D Darius! Darius! My beautiful Darius! You look so beautiful when you're young! Did somebody say building? Look no more! The Darloid Builder Duo is here to save the day! Oh! Oh, it's the Lloyd and Sirius Darius! Hey. hey! Do you want our help or not? Good idea! Oh, with Darius and our team, this will be a piece of cake! Hello! I'm here! Hi. Great! And two more! Welcome to the group! Oh! There's one left, then. Hmm. Let's see. Everyone else seems to have their own groups already. Wait. Oh, that's her. Wait, how about her? She looks like she's just standing there alone. Why don't we invite her? Huh? The new girl? Yeah. Yeah. No. I've heard. Of, wait, what's this? I know he patted Yoshi's head, but I find it hard to imagine that eager Yoshi made him in a Papa Boner, so he's patting his own. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I've heard a lot of things about her, so I just try and stay away. Oh, really? Wait, really? Oh, I heard she made quite the scene when she was enrolled here a few days ago. Hmm. Dad said she's from a very wealthy family. I don't think she's used to a more rustic lifestyle. Rumor is that she screamed, scratched, and cursed at the Ascot mess because she didn't want to be here. Yikes. Sounds like a red flag. Stranger danger. No oh, stranger danger. Oh, there he is, boy, baby. Really? I didn't hear anything like that from Dad, though. Is that really true? Yeah. Yeah, maybe some... People just made that up. I really don't like it when others gossip like that. Besides, we haven't ever met her yet. We can't judge anyone without getting to know them first. Either way. We need one more person, so I'll invite her. Hello. Hello. Hmm. I'm Yoshinori Nagira. You? What's yours? Why? Um, why are you talking to me? Oh. You were by yourself over here, so I thought you might want to join our group for the activity. Do you want to help us set up tents? Disgusting! I'm not getting my hands dirty on something like that. Come on. It'll be fun. You'll get in trouble if you just stand there after all. Good. I'd rather be expelled from this place than forced to be to do manual labor. Me sorry, menial labor. Uh-huh. 
If you really hate it here so much, they, why did you join? Just leave me alone. It's none of a business. Just leave me alone. All right. I guess you're you're gonna have to spend the night out in the cold then, sleeping on the grass, getting wet from the morning dew, and then there's the bugs. Oh, oh and did I mention there's always a risk of getting mauled by a bear while you sleep? Oh, what? Do you mean we're staying here overnight? I mean. We are at camp, buddy. Why else would we be sit setting up tents and making a campfire? <laughs> I swear, this godforsaken camp will be the end of me. I'm surrounded by idiots. Come on, Come on don't be so dramatic. Excuse me? Dramatic? You have no idea how terrible this is compared to my high-end lifestyle. He could have he could have sent at least one butler for me to order around. Preposterous! <laughs> Why did my parents even send me here? I can't believe they spent money just for me to be forced into labor. It'll be fun. It's not just work, it's a learning experience and it'll be fun. I beg to differ. There's nothing fun about setting up tents. And I don't need to learn how, especially when I have people to do it for me. Come on. That's not what the camp spirit is about. Uh, Ugh. Well, you can roll your eyes all you want, but you're here at camp, buddy. Don't you think it would be a lot better if you try and enjoy your time here instead inst instead of sulking all day? <laughs> if, you, if you keep this up, you'll be bare food later tonight. <laughs> oh, shut up! You really think I'm stupid enough to believe that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You've been prowling this whole time. You don't want wrinkles on your face, do you? Oh, what? What? Wrinkles? At this age? Eh, eh, eh. I think we finally know knows what kind of jokes she likes. <laughs> You're such a weirdo. What the heck? Don't mind. I've been called that a couple of times. I tried to make it as a compliment. My goodness. Are you for real? Leave it to me. The best scout around? Say, the scout masters. As I'm as real as you can get. I see. You're not like the other people around here, huh? <laughs> they did say I signed up for the crowd, after all. <laughs> so? You want to join our tent building group? Fine. I'll join your group, but you won't see me doing any of the filthy work. Alright. Come with me then. Um. Here she is. This is, um, uh. I think you forgot to tell me your name. Obviously. I just chose not to tell you, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's Emilia. Emilia Komarova. Emilia! Well, that's a nice name. Well, Emilia, I'd like to introduce you to your new teammates. That's not necessary. No need for introductions. I already ha know about them. Pink hairs, the Scoutmaster's daughter. The one not in a uniform is part of the help. Side characters. Oh, and... Side characters. Oh, and the other two are just regular background characters. Hey! You can't just do that to them. Wh what? B background? For your information! Girl, <laughs> I've already reviewed who the people around me are without actually talking to them. I always like to be a step ahead of everyone else. I guess. Well, maybe we could get to know you instead. There's no need. You'll know me when you know me. Well? I'm learning about you right now. Oof. And I... Oop. Anyway... Why don't we just focus on the task at hand? We have to, we have to build these tents. No thanks. Yeah, I'm still not doing that. Oh, really? So much for being a step ahead of everyone else. Why did you invite her to our group again, Yoshi? Yuri... Chill. Excuse me? I wasn't invited. I simply had no choice since Yoshinori here wouldn't take no for an answer. And I don't lie about things I can't do. I'm not supposed to know everything. <laughs> Let me help. Well, I, I'll help you get started if you don't know the ba basics. I'm just, I was gonna say, if you don't know the bastos. <laughs> I promise it's not that complicated. Mm. Fine. Fine. But only because you're doing a better job at giving me the, the special treatment I deserve than everyone else. Uh, Do we really have to work with her? Yuri. Come on, Yuri. Give her a chance. Well. Are you going to keep me waiting? Follow me. Uh, of course. Uh, let me lead the way. That's one spicy girl, and I'm not a fan of spicy. I can't believe she called us background characters. <sighs> You're a main character. Someone's in love. You're a main character to me. <sighs> but, and that, that doesn't help at all. Something's not right. This is the reason why I didn't want her in our team. There's something really off about her. But I guess Yoshi sees a, something in her that we don't. That's Yoshi for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yoshi does have a good eye for people, so maybe we should just give her a chance. Hmm. 
Maybe she's the kind that mellows, oh, mellows out as you hang out with her more. <sighs> I hope you guys are right, but she still doesn't pass my, my vibe check. It's a girl's intuition. You guys wouldn't understand. Oh, I got that too. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Anyway. Let's help Yoshi. Uh, let's help Yoshi out before he gets pushed around all day. Anyway. Okay, that's enough chit chat and reunions for today. I came here for work, and there's a lot of stuff I need to inspect on my checklist after all. Let's get started. You may all resume your scheduled tasks, as I would rather conduct my evaluation while everyone is at work in their departments. Ah, yes. Of course. Let me give you a tour. That's not necessary. That won't be necessary. Not much has changed here, so I still know my way around. More importantly, I would prefer to have an uninterrupted, unbiased assessment. After all... As the camp president, you would unintentionally leave out flaws that an inspector should know about. Not that anything's wrong with that. I'm sure you understand. I see. Very well, then. Very well. But I don't mind having a di different escort, if you truly insist. Ah, he, she wants Yoshinori. Yoshinori! Huh? Huh? Come on. You'll be happy to assist me with my inspection, yes? Of course. Dude, no! It's a red flag! Perfect. I'd expect nothing less from you after all. Please follow me. Alright then, please follow me. She's still as feisty as ever. Hmm. I'd say it's still an improvement compared to how she acted as a scout. <sighs> She's still the same snooty person if you ask me. Well, well, we don't have a choice. Mr. Clermont handpicked her for the inspection. For the, for the, for the position, okay? Now, let's go up, go back to work. Yes, sir. <sighs> anyway. The east is the intended site for the additional cabins, while the west is meant for the proposed function hall. As you can see, the construction department has, has, nearly, in, entirely, has nearly entirely cleared the site despite some minor delays. I've been told our, by our architect that we can proceed with earthworks very soon. As a matter of fact, if you'd like to take a closer look, I can walk you around the site for. My, my. Yoshinori, slow down a little. My heels are killing me. I apologize. Oh, I apologize. Why? Shut up! <laughs> it's just the two of us here. Why are you in such a hurry? All you talk about is work ever since I got here. Uh. I thought that you needed a quick and concise inspection. Yes. Well, yes, but what I mean is that you haven't really told me anything about yourself. Well, what? Well... It's been almost, what, a decade? Aren't you going to let me catch up with what's been happening in your life? Well... It's been okay, for the most part. Uh. That is the blandest response I've ever heard from you. Aren't you supposed to be the sunshine scout around here? Uh, uh. I just wasn't expecting a question like that during the inspection. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. I thought you'd be more eager to catch up with an old colleague. <laughs> Car carry me, for example. Are you single? <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Milia, but don't get me wrong. I am actually cl glad to see you again. And to answer your question, not much has changed to me. Except that I'm a scoutmaster now and I'm very buff and then... I suck! <laughs> Honestly. I'd say that's the least surprising change. I knew from the moment we met that you'd end up back at this place. Well... Well, I did have a bit of a rocky start for my first couple of terms, but thankfully things have turned out fine. Really? I thought someone like you would have pulled off this kind of job without a hitch. <laughs> the job's not all the fun and games I thought we were when we were young, but I couldn't be any happier here. This is more than just a job for me after all. I beg to differ. You don't... You didn't seem uh, seem so enthused showing me around. You look rather in stress, actually. Like walking up last and being so frantic about the inspection. Uh. I'm so embarrassed that you noticed. I've been trying to be so useful as I can as I can ever since this project started, and sometimes it just gets overwhelming is all. My goodness. <laughs> you? Overwhelmed with work? <laughs> that doesn't sound like you at all. Weren't you such the go-getter back then? Since that, since that was how you and I ended up at, uh, as acquaintance. <laughs> Unlike the other scouts. Anyway, would you mind telling me exactly what you're having, what you're having difficulty with, with about the, about your work? Uh, is this part of your part of your review? What? What? No, of course not. It's just talking casually, I guess. Although now that you've said it, you could consider it a check for a healthy working environment. Honestly. 
It's not that serious, honestly. I'm probably that just adjusting to all the changes around here slower than everyone else. Is that so? But like I said, please don't worry about it. In fact, I've already brought it up with someone and I'm trying to work on it. You have my word that it won't affect the work we're doing here. Fine. I'll take that with a grain of salt. Uh, Should we continue with our tour? <laughs> you have to admit, I was thrilled when I confirmed you were working here at camp, buddy. It's just a pleasure to be reunited, don't you think so? Uh, uh. What? What? What's wrong? I apologize. Forgive me for the assumption, but I thought you disliked your time here at camp, along with everyone, everyone in it. In fact, I never heard anything from you after we all finished our first term. Obviously. That should have been obvious, don't you think? I'm the only heir to, the, to my family's grandiose congl conglomerate after all, so of course I'd be busy. I was wondering. That's why I'm really surprised that you're expect excited to be back. Well. Well, you're not wrong. I was quite the sniveler during my stay here as a scout. But that's a lot. That's so long ago. You've made that summer bearable for me to say the least. So that must mean something, yes? I see. Don't worry. Don't misunderstand. I still have the same mo sophistication as before. But I'll try to be more tolerant this time, especially with your round to make my stay pleasant again. Right. I'll do what I can. Uh, anyway. Shall we continue the tour? I, I noticed you haven't listed anything from our first apartment. The oh! Ah! Oh, she was like, oops. I, uh, uh, and I, oops? <laughs> she, he got me. Let me help. You need help, or am I distracting you from the inspection? How rude! Talk about rude! I'm just trying to have a conversation with you! Goodness gracious, when did you get so impatient? I thought you're the most impatient one. N no No, that's not what I meant. I beg your pardon! And for your information, I know what I'm doing! Mr. Clermont hired me as the Quality Assurance Manager here because I have all the right certifications and have far exceeded the qualifications. Amelia... I, I didn't mean it like that, Amelia. <laughs> If you're going to act like this, let's get this tour over with. Come on. Come on! The checklist won't check itself. <laughs> Bitch. <gasps> I must have upset Amelia by bringing up work too much b during our talk. For the rest of the day, she was much stricter and sn snippier about each department we inspected, asking a lot of questions and going into every detail. Eventually, we have finished everything she wanted to see and the scoutmasters gather into the office for a report. Here we go! I'm sweat. Miko couldn't made me sweat. <laughs> Let's get started. I'll get straight to the point. Based on how the inspection went today, everything is off from the initial targets. Now then. I will be giving general feedback on each department I had an issue with. Now that this report will be sent to Mr. Clermont, but I will enumerate all my concerns just so everyone knows where they missed the mark. Yoshi, what the heck made her so mad during the inspection? Well, well, I don't think it was to do with inspection, to be honest. Yikes. I hope you're not in trouble then. Excuse me. Um, excuse me. I need everyone's full attention. This is very important. I'm sorry about that. Uh, sorry about that. So? I've divided my concerns into, our, into four categories. Construction, staff, technology, and management. Let's start with construction, shall we? According to the schedule, the site should have been cleared yesterday, yet I saw it was, it was still in progress and took up this whole work day to finish. Uh, yes. It's a good thing It's a good thing our staff was able to help the construction team, or else we would have been delayed further. Test, test. That's not a good thing at all! I'm concerned that we're experiencing delays already and the project has barely started. Not to mention over a task as minor as site clearing. Really? It's not a big setback at all, is it? Everyone really worked hard to make it make make up for it too. Why? That brings me to another point. Why were non-construction staff involved in the first place? If they had been supervising as per the plan, these issues might not have pl happened. I apologize. Uh, we apologize for our stepping out of scope. There were some unforeseen difficulties that required mo more manpower to complete the site clearing in time. It's Everyone did what they thought was best in the moment, but that doesn't change the outcome. Even if we disregarded today's delay, there is still debris on the site. Really? That doesn't look like a cleared site now, does it? Actually... That, that isn't debris. We plan to recycle it as firewood for the incoming winter. That doesn't make sense. That's not an excuse to just leave it on the site. This camp has a storage shed to keep all clutter, am I not correct? Alright. 
We'll make sure to work on that right away. Now then. Moving on. Let's discuss staff welfare. There's a very peculiar rumor going around amongst the workers during my survey. I, hover, or I overheard that one of the management staff was being too friendly with the construction crew, which was causing a lot of distractions. Oh, that's Yuri. Disgusting. One even mentioned a beefcake show. Uh... Mr. Flynn? I am not sure what that means, but this concerns you, Mr. Flynn. Well... Uh, well, I didn't... Oh, it's Aiden. Okay, uh, well, I didn't mean to cause any trouble. I was just trying to make the workers happy. Do your job. Isn't to entertain them. Sorry. Your job isn't to entertain them. You're supposed to take care of their essential needs. Nothing more. Uh... I'm doing that already. I'm sure a little chit-chat here and there won't hurt anybody. <laughs> Serious. Take this job seriously. You're a scoutmaster, aren't you? Sorry. Uh, right. Sorry. Anyway. Next topic. Technology. I consulted with Mr. Choi a while ago, and he explained all his tasks so far. Looking at the original scope of the project, I've noticed that some of the offered technology integration was declined. Oh. I'm responsible for that. There's a good reason why I removed some of the proposed integrations. Hmm. I want a technological implementation kept on essential minimum so that we can maintain the true essence of the camp. Don't, get the wrong idea. Don't take this the wrong way, but a decision like that is nothing more than a missed opportunity. Everything is already served on a silver platter. It's all paid, and you just have to say yes. It baffles me. These changes are inevitable anyways, so there's no reason to hold back now. Now then. Now, what's causing all these issues, hmm? Everything boils down to the management department. This establishment is severely understaffed to begin with. And to be honest, most of your roles are scattered and hard to pin down. Miss Nomaru. For example, Miss Nomaru isn't well versed enough to be supervising the entire construction department. Mr. Flynn? Is Mr. Flynn really a scoutmaster or still a helper? He con con contrastingly handles maintenance and culinary tasks, which are supposed to be done by two different people. Yoshi. And most importantly, it has come to my attention that Yoshinori has no permanent role around the camp. I personally know that he is skillful in management, but I assume it's hard for him to step up if the figure of authority is not allowing him to use his full potential. Yeah, she's only this angry because of Yoshinori, just because she's, he's asking her of work. So, she gave him the work! And this is what he get! That's all. That sums up all of my concerns. I hope everyone paid attention. I understand. We understand, and I take responsibility as the camp president. It's my duty at... To prevent these issues and direct everyone to achieve our mutual goals. Dad. But I will do my best to make everything right from here on. Very well. Mr. Claremont chose me to guarantee that this sponsorship meets his expectations. With that in mind, and considering your staffing issue, I will personally stay here for the span of this project. Oh no! So? <laughs> this will ins ensure a stricter schedule and allow me to serve as a bridge of a communication between Camp Buddy and Claremont Incorporated. Is that necessary? Really necessary? We regularly receive our tasks from Mr. Claremont himself. And as far as I know, we haven't had any problems when it comes to communication. Mr. Claremont? It's a very busy man, and it's unreasonable to expect a maintain to maintain direct... Can, can, uh, darn it! <laughs> he, sorry, Mr. Cremon is a very busy man, and it's unreasonable to expect to maintain direct communication with him throughout the entire project. He doesn't have time to handle every issue that arises, so that's where I come in. I'm sure you understand. My job is to prevent problems. <laughs> I can already see cracks forming in the work done so far, and I need to resolve them as early as possible. Do you want to wait until a serious concern arises? Do you want to break Mr. Claremont's trust on this project? I assume the answer to both is no. Don't worry. Don't take any of this personally. It's just my job after all. Right, Yoshinori? Whatever's best for the camp. Plus two, Sir Goro. We'll do whatever's best for the camp. See? Yoshinori understands. Oh. Oh, and one more thing. All the cabins seem to be fully occupied and it will be inappropriate for me to share a room with the workers. Hmm. It'll be, I'll be needing a room of my own to stay in. Well, well too bad. We don't have any. You can stay in my... Guru, where are you going to going to sleep? You can stay in my quarters here in the office, Miss Kumar Kumarova. It's clean and well maintained as well as the biggest room in the camp. It should meet all of your requirements. Hmm. I'll just have... I'll just move into the staff quarters. There should be an extra bed there anyway. It's perfect! I'll take it. Aiden? Why don't you move Miss Komarova's stuff, hmm? Yorick, you can help 
let me pack my things as well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Fine. What? I'm sorry for asking, but did you really think everything was that bad so far? Well... It's my job to point out concerns, and I only commented on what I found on my inspection. If you want me to be even more honest, I believe the overall management is what troubles me the most. I'm sure you understand. As you may have noticed from our meeting earlier, the issues I pointed out were all due to subpar leadership. Even though every de department had its own shortcomings, when the ship sinks, the captain is to blame after all. Hmm. I don't think there's anything wrong with the way Sir Goro has been leading the project so far. Are you sure you're just not looking too much into it? Really? You really want to wait until it becomes a problem, hmm? It's better to deal with it now. Especially since we're talking about something as serious as the one who holds this place together. <laughs> it's about time this camp lets go let go of its de outdated ways and let, let the new generation take over. Ugh. Don't give me that look, Yoshinori. It's just business. Oh, it's just business. <sighs> Look, I know criticism isn't easy to take in, but someone has to point these things out. You know me. I prefer to be straightforward, especially when it comes to work. I understand. My, my. That doesn't sound so enthusiastic, hmm? I did my comment about your role upset you. Ugh. You must be so tired of having no consistent responsibility up for, these, for this project. But don't worry, I'm here to help. Starting tomorrow, you and I will be in charge of both technology and overall management. W what? Are you saying we will take over Sir Goro's position? We can't do that. No. No, no. We just need to work together and be Mr. Numero's advisors to ensure we provide more modern insights about how this camp and project should be run. I'm sure you can agree that changes are inevitable. Refusing to adapt will eventually doom this camp. But not too much. Anyway... I'll make sure that you know exactly what to do in both of these fields from now on. Since I'll be staying here for the QA work, I thought I'd get go out of my way to make sure you get a clearer perspective. <laughs> There's nobody better suited for the task since it's my job to oversee the entire project. We can take charge and lead together. Well, this is her plan all along. She wants to change a lot for the camp. So... What do you say, partners? Yoshi will Kwan. Yoshi will be will decline, I think. I'm not sure. About this, Emilia. Preposterous. Why? That's not the right answer. You should be grateful. I'm offering to fix the exact issue you just mentioned. It baffles me. It why you're having second thoughts about this. Help is literally being served to you on a silver no gold platter. N no. It's not that I don't appreciate your offer, but I was trying to make a plan to resolve it myself. And how exactly? And that plan is... Well... I haven't completely figured out yet. Figured it out yet. Can you at least give me a little time to think about what you're, what you're proposing? It's all very sudden, after all. Fine. I'll give you until tomorrow morning to decide. Let me emphasize this one last time, though. Since you don't seem to be getting, to be getting it. Come on! I'm a professional with exactly the experience you need. And I'm going out of my way to help you. The right choice is obvious. You need some guidance. And we can catch up. I don't see any lo loss here. All right. I'll keep that in mind, Emilia. Perfect. Excellent. I expect nothing but great things from you, Yoshinori. It's a pleasure to work with you again. It'll be all right. Everything will be all right now that I'm here. Now, all this serious business has made me tired. Not to mention all the walking around the camp to inspect. I'll take my leave. I'll take my leave for now and rest up. I'll still ha I still have to send an email report to Mr. Cremon after all. Right. Right. Good night, Amelia. Toodles. Toodles. Hmm. <sighs> oh, I just remembered the Lego movie. It's not personal. It's just business. All right, Gramps, that shall be all your stuff. Thanks. Thanks for helping me move in. It's all right. Don't mention it. <laughs> Sir, I Sir hope Goro. it won't be a hassle for you to stay here with us, Sir Goro. No problem. It's no problem. I don't mind having some extra company. Gramps. Mm, looks like you got demoted, huh, Gramps? In. Carefully. Careful what you say, Ian. Sir Goro's still in charge. You could get, get fired with one snap. I know. I know. No. I'm just kidding around. Everyone hasn't cracked a smile since that meeting. Miss Amelia. Looks like Miss Amelia really said some exciting things back there, huh? Hmm. The criticisms were rather trifling, but we don't have much of a choice except to try and make do since Mr. Clermont places place her here. Yeah. 
And Yuri didn't make it so well. I've never seen her lose her temper like that. According to the stars, On the upside, I think we're all destined to con connect bet to connect, bleh, connect better thanks to the div divination I did earlier. <laughs> what? <laughs> earlier, while you guys were in that meeting. I interpreted my reading as new beginnings, and that's so Yeah, good yeah, good, new beginnings. <laughs> and that's already true from the changes happening so far. Um... I still have no clue what you're saying I'm trying to say. Well. He means it's a, it's good luck. Yeah. Whatever Mumbo Jumbo Lloyd is saying, I agree. Let's look on the bright side. I especially since we'll, we'll be way busier starting tomorrow. That's right. That's a very good mindset to have, Aiden. Yeah. Yeah, I've been the only. I bet the only time we'll have to casually chat with each other will be at night after work like this. I guess. I guess that's my cue to hit the hay for now. I have to get up early than usual and meal meal prep, or we might get called out for being late again. <laughs> <laughs> See? New beginnings! Lloyd. That's, gen that's a generic phrase, Lloyd. Hmm. Hmm. Then tell me how, how it completely explains a coincidence. Anyways. Anyway, let we'll be heading to sleep too. Are you sure? Are you sure it's alright for you to share a bed with Darius? It's fine. He won't take up much space. <laughs> okay! Not you too, Dar! Go ahead. You guys go ahead. I'm gonna take a shower since I'm just about to start my day. Good night. Alright then. Good night, you guys. Night. Night. So... Do you mind telling me why you're acting strangely again, Yoshinori? Emilia didn't say anything else back there to you, do you? did she? Well... She did. Well, she did. And it really gave me something to think about. Hmm. If you'd like, I could reach out to Mr. Claremont and make some arrangements for a different inspector. Oh! Oh no, sir. Please, please, you don't have to do that. Actually, for some reason, Emilia was trying to help clear up my role on this project. That makes sense. That has been on your mind for the past week. Yes, sir. She actually offered to work directly with me too, but I didn't give her an answer just yet. I think she generally wants to help me out, but that event evaluation a while ago really seemed un unnecessarily harsh. Yes. Yes, she was rather strict and straightforward with her opinions. It kind of reminded me of how I was, and not in a good way. <sighs> I don't deny that I have flaws in my leadership. Perhaps this project is a good opportunity for me to correct those. Actually... That actually had me thinking, sir. If she had... Issues with the management? Sh shouldn't she have offered to work with you instead? Well... It seems Mr. K Kom Komarova is quite fond of you. She had a different tone when talking with you. I figured maybe since you two were past acquaintances, it had something to do with that. Yes, sir. I did notice that as well. And that's why I held back on her offer in the first place. I hope you don't mind. You should work with me instead. <laughs> you should work with me instead, then. Knowing that, that what's been going on in your mind since the start of the project, it only makes sense that I take you under my wing. Problem solved! <laughs> With us working side by side, I can make sure to guide you every step of the way. Sir! I was thinking the same thing, sir! Did you now? After all, after all, I realize I'm at my best when I'm working with you. Exactly. Exactly. And more importantly, we can use this chance to further train you in the task and responsibilities of someone who will, who will take over the camp one day. Uh. Well, I really don't think I'm ready for that, sir. You'll get the hang of it. You can learn as we go. I'm here to help after all. Thank you. Thank you so much for this opportunity, sir. It really cleared my mind about what my role in this project really is. No problem. It's my pleasure. Anyway. I'll let Miss Komarova know as soon as possible that you will be declining her offer. It's alright. It's alright, sir. I can do it. I'm sure I can find a way to tell her as professionally as possible. What's more important to me right now is the, is the work we'll, be, we'll do together. <laughs> I appreciate it. I have to say, sir, I'm actually glad that you're moving in here with us. Well, well either way, I did plan to move in here at some point to get closer with you guys. That, or I was going to invite you to start staying over in my room to get the rest of the stuff here in more space. <gasps> Gosh, darn it, Emilia! Really? Yes. But with how busy we've all been, I never had the chance. <gasps> Emilia! I guess Emilia's stay here gave me a good push to actually do it. Well? That's a good way to look at it, sir. No problem. <laughs> all we have to do is to keep at it and stay true to the goals we have. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. I'll do my best and stay by your side throughout the whole thing. Thanks. Yoshinori. Let's get some sleep. I'll... It'll be... It'll be a busy day tomorrow. Good night. Good night, sir. Good night. Good night, Yoshinori. And that's the end of this stream! Bam! 
Wow. Yeah, nyam, 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 nyam. Everybody, and also Miko, thank you all so much for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you everybody for watching. My name's Suki Cookie, signing off saying, I want that D! I want that D so much! I want it. It's long, big, and girthy! He's like Yuichi only. Daddy. Daddy! Ooh! <laughs> 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 <laughs>